Hey, it's Ian from Las Vegas Scooters and Lifts again. Today I've got a AL300 to assemble and put on a vehicle. Okay, that's the lift assembled. So basically all you have to do is just loosen these off a little bit so they can articulate a bit for different chairs or scooters. One on each corner, one there. That's a uh, three quarter bit that goes on there. And then you have to assemble this bit. It's not hard, I mean, it's just uh, remove that screw, remove that one there, bring the plate down and then relocate it and this adjusts to different wheel sizes this is going to be a smaller scooter with small rear tires so shouldn't need to adjust it too much I've already shown you what you get in the pack all your bolts your cables cable tires and uh, this one will need a uh, drop down tube a universal drop down tube rather than the standard tube but I'm going to take a standard tube just in case uh, it will reach but according to Homar that when we did the vehicle check it requires a universal drop down tube there's your swing away arm I've left it in the bag just to protect it you've seen that before so uh, the difference between the AL100 and the AL300 they both have the same lifting capacity of 350 pounds operates just the same but the only thing different is that uh, on this you don't get the automatic lockdown arm which is usually situated just there and welded to the frame to the mast sorry and uh, you get the ratchet strap the these uh, really easy ratchet straps you operate with a little red handle there and then you ratchet them with that onto the uh, to the power chair or scooter uh, the customer who's uh, ordered this, they actually have a golden light rider and uh, with that golden light rider the footboard is uh, not really supported by much frame so the lockdown foot would actually damage the plastic foot, foot shroud so you can't use the automatic lockdown on that scooter and hence why uh, you have to use the AL300 and secure the scooter with the uh, these easy ratchet straps so unfortunately that's uh, that's all they could get was the AL300 but, uh, yeah so that'll be ready to install when the customer gets here and uh, I might uh, do a little montage of that when it's done so because uh, it with it being a different lift, it's not the AL100 that I featured, so this is the 300. They do make HD versions of these, so uh, I think they have an extra spring on there. It's uh, three springs rather than uh, two, and the lifting capacity is, I think it's 400 pounds rather than 350, so you can take a heavier, heavier scooter or heavier wheelchair, but uh, I don't know many many wheelchairs that uh, or many scooters that are that heavy or above that that weight but they do make a variant sort of uh, array of outside platform lifts for many scooters and uh, and power wheelchairs it's usually the defining deciding factor to whether you can get one of these on your vehicle is, is your vehicle itself especially if, if it's a sedan or a small crossover they will not go on these these lifts and swing aways are too heavy 
for your vehicle, best thing to do is check your owner's manual for your vehicle and under the, the uh, towing, towing a trailer. If you have a sedan or a light crossover, then uh, if it didn't come with a trailer hitch, that's a good indication that you probably can't tow anything. But checking your owner's manual and it'll, under the section of towing a trailer, if it's a sedan, they'll, they'll say something like, we do not recommend towing with this vehicle. It, it just affects the vehicle too much, your suspension, your cooling system, all the uh, transmission and things like that. It just damages the car because there's too much weight hanging off the back of the car. Because these aren't supported any other than just the trailer hitch. With towing, you have a uh, an axle which supports the weight of what you're towing. So you may be able to tow a thousand pounds, but what these rely on is what's called tong weight. And tong weight is usually 10% to 15% of the towing capacity of the vehicle. So if you have a, a thousand pound towing capacity on your vehicle, then you would only have a hundred pound of tong weight. And that's the physical weight that you can hang off the back of the vehicle. And a hundred pounds would be two swingaways or one lift without a swingaway. So it's all dependent on what you want on the vehicle. They do make lighter weight lifts and lighter weight swingaways. But again, uh, they tend to be more expensive than the standard AL100, AL300 and, and so on and so forth. So the more lightweight lift tends to be more expensive. Yeah, so let's get this lift installed when the customer turns up. <laughs> Okay, so that's installed. This is the AL300. And the only difference is, is these Q straights, they call them, ratchet straps. Quick release ratchet straps. You can press this red button just there. And it releases this so you can undo the button. I'm not going to do that. I'm just give it a quick turn that tightens that down. And with the kit, you get this uh, seat bracket. It goes underneath, bolts onto your seat. They're bolted to the frame of the seat, and that's so you can hold the back of the seat down, stops the seat jumping off. One on either side, everything else is the same on the left, apart from the lockdown arm. You don't get Let's see if you pin it, and that's it uh, all done and installed. Just the same as the AL100 for installation, the swing away, and uh, just the only difference is the ratchet straps in the old damn plate. If you have a wheelchair, they give you uh, with what they call trapeze bar attachments, that's what these are, and they're going with trapeze bars, so, so you can hook the straps onto that. Uh, there we go, that's another one done. Hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, I'm all dirty and dusty. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments. The planes are going by, so I'm going to sign off here. Have a good one. Bye now.